the, the types of antibody therapies I'm also very encouraged about here are the bispecific antibodies. I don't know if you have any experience with those. We, we have quite a bit. We're very, very impressed with their activity. How about, how about you? Have you used those? Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, both the CD20 and CD19 antibodies, um, mosentuzumab, I think we've been working with that. I think that's an impressive antibody that the, um, the tolerability of mosin is actually pretty good. Um, we worked in the past with a CD19 bispecific and frankly, it was worse than CAR T cells. And so um, I don't know whether that was specifically the, um, the, the, that product in and of itself, but, but because the CAR T cells were, were targeting CD19 and this one was targeting CD19 and still using an immunotherapy, you know, we, we ran into a lot of adverse events and ultimately that trial had to be um, stopped. So clearly not just, a, not a CD19 in and of itself. We don't see that with more 208. It's the, it's, the, um, it's the immunotherapy for some reason that seems to be, be causing that problems. But as a class, I'm very, uh, I'm very bullish on, on bi-specifics. I think a lot, of, a lot of excitement around that, those group of antibodies. We're testing several in our, in our program. Yeah, and I'll just say I, I'm bullish on them as well. I'm bullish on tavacitumab too because th that agent, these bi-specifics are off the shelf, right? we can get them to patients right away. It's not something we can do with the CAR T cell treatment as we discussed early on in the program. Yeah, I think that's, that's um, one of the real important parts here is that you can, um, you can give it quickly to people, um, a, a good tolerability. That's true with both, uh, both more 208 as well as um, some of the new biospecifics that are coming around. And, and of I think course, Go ahead, John. Don't forget, I'm sorry to interrupt you there, but I do think it's important that we have to remember that the bispecifics, which you've been alluding to, they also have significant toxicity, can have cytokine release and other uh, uh, toxicities like we see with CAR T cell treatment. And again, we're not seeing that uh, with the tavacitumab or the MORE 208. So bispecifics are encouraging. I'm bullish on them, as we said, they're off the shelf, but they are potentially very toxic in some patients. Have you used blinitumumab in, um, in patients with large cell lymphoma? I mean, it's indicated in, in ALL. It has some of the same uh, toxicities that we've been talking about, neurotoxicity and so forth. Um, but I haven't really used it in large cell lymphoma. It's very cumbersome to, to give. Yeah, I think that's the problem, right? I, uh, it's uh, hard to deliver. And the toxicity of that drug can be very significant. These people have to be in the hospital for a significant amount of time, not uncommonly, and the activity is not great. So I'm not uh, a large user. In fact, really almost never are we using that in this space. We have other drugs now, like we've been talking about. 